Okay, love bugs. I think I found the perfect hack for super defined curls, not leaving out the house with wet curls, and it's all in the diffuser. Today, I'm going to be doing a 100% glueless lace wig install, lace frontal wig install, and this one comes courtesy of Nadula Hair. Now, when I say it is 100% glueless, this is a frontal, not a closure, and it's not bonded down at all. You guys can see it's super nice and snug. So today, I'm also going to be styling these curls for you guys I did go with a mousse but you guys know a lot of times when I come on this channel and I give you guys these good, good curly looks I end up leaving with the hair not at its full potential so today I went ahead and did the diffuser method and I'm absolutely shook because I feel like I've been missing out all this time like I definitely love to let my hair air dry but I also don't like wet hair on me like I don't like to just like wet the hair at the mousse and it's just hanging on me especially once I get dressed and I don't want the wet hair on my clothes you guys know I'm kind of like ache with like that so the blow dryer that I typically use from bdecbeauty.com does come with a diffuser attachment I've never ever ever used it on this channel and today I've realized I've been missing out I went ahead and used it and I got the hair completely dry and I just love how natural and realistic my install came out today it's absolutely gorgeous of course I have it linked in the description box for you guys but without further ado let's go ahead and jump right into the tutorial okay ladies jumping right into it I'm in my bald cap but this is the wig straight out of the box we're working with a 24 inch jerry curly 13 by 4 lace front wig you guys can see a look at the inside construction of the cap as well as the adjustable strap they included this is what it looks like when you put it on I start with that strap then I go ahead and put the back of the wig on finally putting the front this is what she looks like on I can't even see what she looks like on because there's so much excess lace so I just went ahead and cut that little extra piece off. Now we can see what we're working with and she's absolutely gorgeous straight off the bat. Now you guys can see the beautiful curl uh, pattern here is amazing. The hairline is also great. It does look full but it's definitely pre-plugged and as we bond her down you'll definitely see um, how she looks. Matter of fact we're going to go glue this today and you're going to see how I'm going to do that as well. I did go ahead and cut off the excess lace around the ears and here I am I'm showing you how well the lace blends with my complexion um this is me just going ahead and like straightening like the hairline i like to do this sometimes because it gives more of a melted look when the hair at the very very root in the front it's kind of like straight if that makes any sense now i'm going to go ahead and just put a little bit of my edge control on my edges i want to make sure that everything is pushed back so that as we go ahead and blend this wig in nothing sticks out and everything looks flawless especially along the hairline because we are going for a glueless install now we can go ahead and pull the hair back and up and out of the way and i can see exactly what we're doing i did cut off any ear tabs and here i'm showing you a really good look at how well this one fits it fits so snug that i was fully prepared to bond it down and wear it uh bond it down but I decided to wear it glueless because you don't need anything at all now I had ran out of my wax stick and I'm a diehard fan of my own wax stick from bdecbeauty.com I did not feel like going in trying to grab another one from inventory so I went ahead and did that dynamic duo minus the dynamic and I just went ahead and used a little bit of heat to go around the parting and make sure that it was super 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 sleek now I'm going to go ahead and pull some hair forward and I did decide to do what I like to call micro baby hair. Now you guys can see how tiny and micro I cut the hairs because I like for them to just kind of like be like a camouflage for my lace. I don't care how nice and beautiful and blended the lace is. The lace is lace and it usually, even if you can get it to look good like on the first day or the second day, um, you can see that lace. So I like to go ahead and add a little bit of like faint baby hair and that kind of just helps to act like camouflage um, even when the wig is not bond it down now that that is done um, I'm allowing it to set with a melt belt because we're not bonding it down I want us to kind of like press 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 into my hairline and get super flat and while that works out on its own I'm going to go ahead and use um, a mousse and this one is new or to my channel I have it in the description box but I'm using this to go in and like hydrate the curls as well as separate them this one does include this beautiful balayage and it's like blonde highlights and as you guys can see the more you kind of like use your fingers or a comb to separate the curls and pull them apart you will see how much beautiful 
how much more beautiful the balayage will blend and just look absolutely natural even though it's not like a natural color for me it's going to look more and more natural the more like you separate those curls and you kind of just you know give it its own vibe now again i'm going in with the mousse and the dimming brush and this was the perfect combo you guys can see here how beautifully the color and the curls blend once you go ahead and comb it out opposed to when it's not i did the opposite side off camera and it just looks natural it's not too much it's not overbearing it's perfect but because we did go ahead and wet the hair and add the mousse i do want to walk away from this video with dry hair so i did add the uh, diffuser attachment to my faithful blow dryer from bdeckbeauty.com and i just took my time doing a diffuse and i just kind of kept moving the hair i am doing it on a high heat setting um just to help it to go a lot faster and one thing about this one is that with the product i use and the texture that it is it didn't get super big um but you can definitely tease the hair to get bigger and bigger um it took me probably about a good 10 to 15 minutes and you guys can see how beautiful the curls came out also you guys can see how beautiful the actual hairline looks i did take off the diffuser and i just used the actual blow dryer on a cool setting this time since i didn't have the diffuser just to kind of help it to get a little bit bigger and it was a little bit more or it needed to be a little bit more dried like in the back and i love the way this came out and how much more natural it looks when you had like a little bit of frizz from the blow dryer now i'm going in and tinting the lace i'm using a concealer palette from ruby kiss and then in the hairline i'm going to use this foundation powder from ruby kisses and again you cannot tell that this one is fitting glueless although it's a frontal it definitely fits glueless this one also comes in a couple different other cap constructions so you can definitely choose i have a 13 by 4 and i think it's absolutely flawless be sure to check the description box for exact details here i'm just using a spray serum from ogx just to kind of like smooth it over because i did allow it to get super frizzy from the cool blow dryer but i just kind of like want to comb it over without combing it and it's perfect look how beautiful this one is the biolage doesn't look overpowering or anything like that here i am showing you the packaging i did get a robe with my package as well as a dust bag they also gave me these hd wig caps and a melt belt and then they also gave me this goodie bag which you guys have seen a million times hd wig cap melt belt lashes a kabuki brush and yeah gorgeous okay guys i'm gonna keep it short simple and sweet i feel like when i did the outro it literally talk for like 10 minutes and it's not even necessary because you guys have seen the whole tutorial on the install so this one is glueless regrettably i'm gonna lift it because it's so melted that i don't actually want to do that but i want to show you guys that this is a frontal and it fits glueless i always tell you guys it's a little bit harder to find companies that will have a full like frontal and it's glueless and so i stand corrected nadula definitely has us covered when it comes to that and this one doesn't slide back or anything like that of course if you pull it if you get in a fight you shouldn't be fighting at this good old 2023 but it'll come off but it's glueless so if you are just like me and an everyday mom and you're running around town and you're doing pilates you should be good now this one here is a 13 by 4 transparent lace wig the origin of hair is brazilian and it is 24 inches in length now i do love the wave pattern on this one or the curl pattern but the star of the show most certainly is the blonde highlights throughout i think it was most certainly tastefully done i feel like when you see um women get natural like blonde or natural girls get like blonde highlights added to their hair especially with curlier textures i feel like this is the vibe it gives so where it's not too uniform and it's not too much um and i love the way it came out now the one thing we did different today was we pretty much completely dried the hair which is something that i don't do enough on this channel so i'm definitely going to do this more often now typically if i do show you guys the hair dried at the end of the video it's because i cut the camera off walked away allowed it to air dry and came back sometime later today i went ahead and dried it completely while sitting here and i did use an attachment that i don't know why i've never showed you the attachments that have come with this blow dryer this is the blow dryer from bdecbeauty.com and it does come with like a um how do you say like a comb attachment and then it comes with one other attachment that's like a um concentrated nozzle i think that's how you say it um attachment so like when you know when you're doing your blowouts and you just want that that you know strip to go down and blow dry and then it also comes with your diffuser um 
And so I did go ahead and attach the diffuser that comes with it today. And I blow dried it pretty much majority of the way on a hot setting. I love the way it came out, especially com uh, combined with this almond and avocado mousse from Design Essentials. It has a little bit of a crunch to it, which I, you guys know everybody doesn't like a crunch, but I like a mousse crunch personally. If you don't like a crunch, don't use a mousse, use a cream. And then um, like once I got tired of diffusing it, I did go ahead and take it off the diffuser. And again, when I did the diffuser, I did it on a hot high setting. And then when I took the blow dryer or I took the diffuser off and just blow dry, I more so wanted to get like in here where you guys know it's like the, it takes the longest to dry. And I went here cool because I didn't want to mess up the curl pattern and I love how beautiful and soft the curls are up top they're really soft and they have no crunch but at the ends they do have the crunch and then of course like because I blow dry at the end without any um diffuser on it it did get a little bit frizzy in here so I kind of like that because it gives more of a natural like look if you will, when you do that, or you allow it to get a little bit of frizz in there. Um, but to kind of smooth it, I did um, use this as an option, and this is just the Argan in Moroccan Argan Oil of Morocco from OGX. And I just kind of like spread it on top and just kind of smooth it to kind of give that um, shiny sheen, almost like wet look, even though it's dry. And I'm absolutely pleased with the way it came out. I'll have a direct link to this wig in the description box. The products that we used today, I'll have there as well. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share with your friends. And as always, I'll see you in the next one. Smooches.